took me to heaven. Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. There is no one. Only one. No one else took me to heaven. Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. There is no one. Only one. Jesus. Muhammad. There is no Buddha. There is no Krishna. There is no one. Only one. Jesus. You can follow Muhammad. It'll get you nowhere. Krishna. There is no one. Only one. Jesus. You can follow Muhammad. It'll get you nowhere. The only one that truly is who he is, is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It'll get you nowhere. The only one that truly is who he is, is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And this has got nothing to do with Christians or anyone else. It's got to do with the truth. And just last night during his live stream, he was attacked by a man with a knife who witnesses say was attacking him while saying, And just last night during his live stream, he was attacked by a man with a knife who witnesses say was attacking him while saying Allahu Akbar. I was always on the driver. You can I turn on camera? No, no. Okay. Well, you can just tell me, tell me what happened. Camera's not on you. He was uh, stabbing. He was stabbing. Yeah. And I saw him, I ran and grabbed him from behind and just pushed him down. Look. Oh, that's all in his blood. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He keeps saying Allah Hubbar Allah Hubbar. He keeps saying Allah Hubbar Allah Hubbar. He was saying that? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Allah Hubbar Allah Hubbar. We have to get ready. Take this video as a warning. So I was doing my work early this morning, and my twin brother walked up to me and he was like, Hey, dude, did you hear about Bishop Mari Mari? And I'm like, Who is that? Like, who is that guy? And he tells me, it's the dude on TikTok with like the shroud and he's, he's been on George Janko's podcast and he's in Australia, like he's a minister, he has his own church. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm like, oh dude, yeah, I know who that is, what? And he goes on to tell me that that pastor was in the middle of a sermon and a guy just gets up, walks right up to him and proceeds to stab him in the face with like a knife or a shank that he had made and repeatedly stab the sermon and a guy just gets up walks right up to him and proceeds to stab him in the face with like a knife or a shank that he had made and repeatedly stab him in front of his entire congregation in the middle of a live stream and you can see in the video with like a knife or a shank that he had made and repeatedly stab him in front of his entire congregation in the middle of a live stream him in front of his entire congregation in the middle of a live stream and you can see in the video that all of the congregation like rushes up to try and stop this dude from killing him in the middle of his own sermon and they like drag him off and then the video just ends. Shalom Ami Asherah, all praises and glory goes to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Kudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, citations to the elect men feeding the sheep of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah in sincerity and truth with his great gospel coming out of our Bible. And um, the Lord's not dealing with false prophets and preachers, right? These false prophets and preachers were not sent by the Heavenly Father. And we're in the time of them being exposed, right? It hasn't been a good year for these false preachers. You had, um, what's that, um, T.D. Jakes get exposed, right? For being a punk and kicking it with cats like P. Diddy, right? And that's really opening for the whole Christian world. It's showing me that this whole Christian foundation is, is pure madness. It's pure madness. It's not biblical. It's not spiritual. It's um, all off of emotions and man's false wisdom, right? Because this is not the wisdom of the Lord, man. The Lord don't need no goddamn cheerleader. That's what you got in the Christian church is a bunch of fucking cheerleading and no knowledge. <laughs> no wisdom, no warning to people. Right? It's a spirit of man worshiping. Right? Everybody on their pastor's tip and the pastor is not giving them no knowledge, no information. They don't even know the name of the Lord. Right? You had Bishop Mon what's his name? Marie or something, whatever. The Lord had to make an example out of him on camera in front of his congregation, stabbed in the face. Right? Because all that Jesus talk ain't going to get nobody nowhere. That's the same bullshit the master gave you, the slave master gave you. 
right? You got that, there was no letter J when Yahweh Shai was walking around, right? This character, this new made character, Jesus Christ is not of the Lord. <laughs> it's not the son of the Messiah. It's not the son of the heavenly father. This is an Edomite created character to keep you Jakes from returning back to your power. <laughs> This guy talking about there is only one, there is no one, only one Jesus, right? And he offended some so-called Muslims. There is no Buddha, Buddha, there is no Krishna, right? Let me tell you, there is no Muhammad, that's what he said. <laughs> and these Muslims, they get upset when you tell them there is no Muhammad. And he said, um, no one else took me to heaven but that God. I mean, he didn't go to no damn heaven. This dude is bugged out. So the Lord had to make an example of his ass. <laughs> he was doing good when he was going against these other religions, yeah. The thing is, you can't mix a little truth with madness. <laughs> there's only one truth, and there's only one way, and that's the, you have to bring the whole doctrine of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. And you have to be sent from the Lord. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and 13. It says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into a Apostles of Mashiach and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. <laughs> yeah. You got the devil that took over the so-called church. <laughs> Pushing false information and deceiving millions and millions of people. Now that the real truth is out here, what there's a there's a migration <laughs> from the what the Christian church, from the Catholic Church, from really religion. People are leaving all these stupid ass religions behind. And coming back to what their heritage, when we're talking about the Israelites who believe in Yahweh, Shimei, Shai, you're gonna leave that bullshit ass religion that you're behind and you're gonna return back to the Lord. It's I'm read again, it says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Mashiach. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into the angel of light. <laughs> right? You got these devils trying to act like they got the truth. But really, they don't have the truth. This is 2 Peter 2 and 1. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people. What do you got? It says, but there were false prophets also among the people. Even as there shall be false teachers among you, <laughs> who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. That's the future of these fake-ass preachers <laughs> and teachers. <laughs> that the Lord did not send. He's about to destroy them. He's about to destroy them. And you just see him. He made an example of this dude on live stream in front of his congregation, in front of, really for the world to see. For the world to see. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Right, because they look at the men and prophets on the streets as hate. Those men are hate groups. No, those are men speaking the truth, <laughs> bringing you the whole gospel. Right? They got us on a list for hate. Really, it should be you other nations on the list for hate. Because the Lord said, This is love. We're preaching the gospel, the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh It says, This is love, that you keep his commandments. These other nations ain't talking about keeping the commandments, man. These false religions ain't talking about keeping no commandments. <laughs> they saying it's been done away with, right? You could do whatever you want to do. Just pay your money. <laughs> One thing we know, the whole church system that you're dealing with right now is based on money, finances, <laughs> right? You got these um pastors, 501c3 pastors, who's all about robbing and raping the congregation. <laughs> Right? It says, freely you have received, freely give. They don't want to hear none of that. They want to hear, how much money did you put in the fucking plate this week? And many shall follow the pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And through covenant shall they with feigned words make what merchandise of your, of you. <laughs> right? Making merchandise of you. They selling you precepts. They selling you um, t-shirts. <laughs> I love Jesus t-shirts. Right, hey, man, come on, man. Look at um Oprah Church. You gotta do a motherfucking um credit check just to be a member, right? Whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. That's why the Lord had to make an example of 
that bishop, that goofy looking character. This is Matthew 7 and 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. And all these, you got to watch out, especially for a celebrity prophet. The Lord ain't dealing with a celebrity prophet. <laughs> Like these celebrity prophets, everybody's speaking well of them. Nah, man. The Lord said the real men of the Lord are going to be hated. Right? Going to be hated. And um, you got these devils, them Muslims, they hate them fake-ass Christians, but they ain't going to come up against the men of the Lord. A real man of the Lord. This Revelation 22. In 18, for I testify not unto you, Slack. Revelation 22 and 18, for I testify unto you, every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, and if any man shall add unto these things, the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And what do the Christians specialize in adding words, taking away words? words from the book right they're not going to give you like I said the full gospel <laughs> they're going to manipulate this book and they're going to use it for what their advantage right to make merchandise of you because one thing they understand then they were not set up by the Lord they were set up by um, theology and schools <laughs> right you got Edomite devils giving people paperwork to go around preaching the gospel and what and it ain't even the gospel. It's a false gospel. Galatians 1 and 9, it says, As we said before, say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you that ye have received, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. And a curse is about to hit these wicked preachers. <laughs> these false prophets, man. And um, most of them will be put to death. Really, all of them. Yeah, the Lord's coming for all wicked preachers. There's going to be a lot more of these especially if we say entertainment preachers right they are known by the world the lord is going to make their destruction known broadcast galatians 1 and 9 i marvel that ye are so removed from him that called you into the grace of mashiach unto another gospel which is another but there'll be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of mashiach but though we or but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than which, than which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or the most high, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be a servant of the most high. Of Mashiach, right? Because these a lot, a lot of these preachers, they're man, they're man pleasers, right? They speak in smooth things to get what we say more money from the congregation. Right? They're here to appease the people, make sure the people is happy. That's how that's how Christianity came upon, came around, right? They put all your fucking religions together to keep peace in a kingdom. And they came, they came up with Christianity. And now that this whole Christianity is being exposed, there's going to be lots of preachers being put to death.